Yeah. All right, we're at the gas station in Carrizo. And that's always fun getting in. Fortunately, they had the pumps facing the right way. Got a horse there behind me. Hey, boy. And now we're going to go broke. Spending over a couple hundred bucks. Gas is running about 335 a gallon. And that's using 86 octane. Really, this is supposed to take, I think, 88 octane, 87. But David Clayton on the Baystar webpage, the administrator says when you're in the mountains, you can use the lower octane with no problem. So we had a good stay there for a couple of days in New Mexico. My leg's doing a lot better today. It's gonna hurt. We're gonna be heading north heading up to Santa Rosa State Park. Stay there a couple days. Most of these pumps are uh, locked down to 125. And that, we got about 30 gallons for 125. So I had to redo my credit card. Used to be the credit card company would have a fit when you stuck in a second time, they'd think it was fraud. But they've learned my ways and they allow me to run it a second time. So now I'm racking up the next. I don't think I'll get to 125 again uh, because I had 30 some gallons and I only needed about 60. So we should be good. These travel days are expensive though, I'll tell you. to Santa Rosa Lake and Dam. And all the campsites look pretty full, but we have our reservation. Our spot doesn't have water. I tried to pick one that did. So if I stay here again this fall, I'm definitely gonna try and find a spot that has water. We're able to go five days when we're at Bear Creek. And that's being very careful. That's taking Navy showers. And then we usually throw the dishwater outside before we head down the road. I don't like traveling with more than a third of the tank going down the road because you get um, all that extra weight on your tires. It was windy coming here. It was the worst when like a semi would go by and it would really knock you for a loop. So the shower was 
vibrating and would pulsate. And the water would come in and out, in and out. So someone online showed me how you can adjust this pump. So I'll show you. So when the pressure is on one way, the pump just runs every so often, which makes it vibrate. When you turn it the other way, it runs more consistently, and therefore you get more constant flow. We'll try it this way. This is the pump that I took out, and you see this a little screw right here, and you can turn that screw counterclockwise, and it adjusts the pressure in the pump. So this is my pump I rebuilt, and the regular pump's up there. Well, I just spent the last two hours polishing the sucker up. Even went up on the roof and did the edges. It was very, very, it was very, very dusty. Very drizzly and kind of ugly. I think we can cut across there this morning. Then the sun came out and we got some puffy clouds. So we thought we'd take a walk. Shoreline Trail. But now we're back on the highway. We're going to head up here to 40 and then angle up, get back on the highway heading north to Denver. But we're doing this very slow, two hours a day, two days at every place we stay, get in by two o'clock. That's our rule, two, 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 two. And then we're going to go to Springer, New Mexico. And that's a funny little campground. I've been there before, I'll show you. RV park. And then we're going to head on up to Pueblo. In between Pueblo and uh, Colorado Springs is a great big KOA. And we're gonna try it out for the first time. So as you can see, shine out there Susie and show everyone we're having a a oh, beautiful day. Oh yeah, they can see on the dash cam too. And uh, we're coming into this little town of Santa Rosa. There's not much to it. But not much wind today either. We're very thankful for that. See you on the flip side. It looks like that. Yeah. Turn around with the I 25 North Ram, then merge with I 25 North. Yeah. Station is on the right. Oh, 
good little time in Springer and I hope you enjoyed that video of uh, the Palisade that was a nice little drive so now we're heading north and we're heading toward Pueblo Colorado so we decided to wait and get gas when we get into Colorado because it's about 30 cents cheaper so we're gonna head up there and we're gonna get off at um, what town was that? 
Oh yeah. We're gonna stop at Trinidad at uh, Conico. So we're gonna stay at a KOA up here in Pueblo. We'll be there for two days and then we head on up to Bear Creek for two weeks. On the left. So the right down here and we'll be the left one. That's the fifth dispensary I've seen in a block before. Six. Like over done. Seven. Eight. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 